Dr. Tom Brunning. Hello, Dr. Uh, I'd like to assess the way that you walk today, please. Okay. Uh, what's your name? I'm Luke. Luke, nice to meet you, Luke. So, Luke, the first thing I'd like you to do is uh, walk over towards the wall, turn around, and then come back to me. Assess the patient's gait from the perspective of balance, rate of walking, how they hold their arms and legs, presence of any recognisable gait disorders such as hemiplegia, spastic parapesis, shuffling gait, ataxic gait, foot drop, Trendelenburg or the waddling gait of proximal myopathy. Well, the next thing I'd like you to uh, walk heel to toe, okay, so the heel of your, of your moving foot place it at uh, the toe of your static foot, or your static. I'm going to walk beside you in case you lose your balance. This is difficult with a midline cerebellar lesion or in older patients. Okay, that's great. And uh, come back this way, I'll get you to walk on your tiptoes if you could. Walking on one's toes is impossible with an S1 lesion. Okay, that's fine. And then walking this way, I'll get you to walk on your heels. So walk on your heels. Walking on one's heels is impossible with an L5 lesion, which causes foot drop. Okay, what I guess you do now is if you could just squat down. Squatting and then standing up is impossible with an L4 lesion. This is the test for proximal myopathy. And for the last thing then I guess you put your two feet together. And uh, I'm going to put my arms here just in case you start to lose your balance. And now I'd like you to close your eyes. This is Romberg's test and can have a few different endpoints. A patient with truncal ataxia will have a tendency to fall backwards due to a midline cerebellar lesion. Inability to stand with feet together, regardless of whether eyes are open or closed, is due to cerebellar or vestibular dysfunction. With eyes closed, a small amount of sway is normal. If the patient sways to the point of falling over, this suggests abnormal proprioception is causing a sensory ataxia. Okay, Luke, that's everything. Thanks very much. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks, fine.